and welcome to the 10th episode of Ninny's News. Woohoo! We made it to 10. Thank you so much for joining us and a very special thank you to those who have been here for all 10 episodes so far. We really appreciate your support. Yes, we do. And on today's episode, we're going to dive deep into the world of mystery boxes. Read more points from the poem contest and we're going to announce the winner of our prompt challenge. That's right. One lucky person who participated in our prompt challenge will be awarded a mini mystery box. Stay tuned to the end to find out if it was you. Woohoo! Let's get started with some points. In case you're new here, we'll leave a link in the description box where you can learn all about our poem contest. The deadline to submit is May the 4th, which is just around the corner now. We've had some really great entries and today we've got two more for you. This one comes to us from Karen. Thank you, Karen. So I saw Nanny's napkins and thought, what could that be? How many napkins could you want to see? I'd passed by so often, not venturing inside, but when I finally did, my eyes opened wide. If you want decor ideas and creative supplies, the Ninny's Napkins is a feast for your eyes. Whilst there are thousands of napkins for your decoupage list, there's everything else that just can't be missed. From prep to finish, the choice is vast. How I wish I'd never just driven past. And not only that, there are classes too, drop-ins and projects for you to do. Everyone there is friendly and kind, and we will have so much time for you to make that find. So drop on by if you're remotely keen, you'll be so glad you've finally been. Excellent poem, Karen. Thank you for sending it. And good luck. I've got one here from Michelle. Ninny, oh Ninny, you inspire me so. It's my only place for crafting I go. From napkins to media, it boggles my mind. It's hard to leave items in my cart behind. I'm just glad you're not local because I would be broke from in-store shopping, I tell you. No joke. Your videos are just awesome and hours I spend seeing projects and products from start to end. One day I'll make the journey to visit the store, but I feel I will come home with packages galore. When I place my order, I dream of the stuff that my postman will bring me. Will it be enough? I started buying napkins and have quite the stash. My only wish is that I have more cash. Thank you for being the best place around and help make my projects that always astound. Ninny dear Ninny, I thank you so much and always taking time to keep us in touch. That was great, Michelle. Thank you for your submission. I will be sending you and Karen each a coupon for 10% off your next order at nannysnapkins.com. And in case you didn't know, the prizes for our poem contests are all mystery boxes. A jumbo for first place, a regular for second, and a mini for third. Since some of our viewers are not yet familiar with mystery boxes, we thought today we'd give you an in-depth look at the jumbo box. Mystery boxes are typically only available for purchase on the 26th of each month, and there are a very limited number available. Their retail value is double the price, so for example, a jumbo is priced at 150 Canadian, or approximately 113 US, but inside you will find a minimum of 300 Canadian, or approximately 260 US worth of product. That's a fantastic value. What better way to build your stash and challenge yourself to step out of your comfort zone? Plus, who doesn't love a good surprise? We also often give them away as prizes in our contests, just like the mini mystery box we'll be giving away to the winner of the prompt challenge at the end of this episode. We'll leave a link in the description box to our mystery box page where you can learn all about them. Don't forget to click the black notify when available button so you can receive an automated email the moment they are restocked and available for purchase. You sure wouldn't want to miss out because once they're sold out they won't be available again for another month. And they often sell out in the first four to six hours so this is not the time to dilly dally. As we mentioned earlier this is our largest box the jumbo. It measures approximately 13 inches by 13 inches by 2 inches tall and is brimming with a wide assortment of the products we carry at ninniesnapkins.com. This is an actual mystery box that will be sold with the others on the 26th, but no two boxes are exactly alike. 
The items will vary from box to box and month to month, but some overlap is possible. Okay, enough jibber jabbering. Again. Let's, <laughs> let's see. No, that was dilly dally. Oh, dilly let, dally and jibber jabbering. Let's see what's inside the box. Yeah, so uh, this one has got a really wide array of napkins. Both sizes. Both sizes. So these are some cocktail napkins. So we've got uh, some kind of Halloween y ones. Halloween-y. Halloween. You're good with words today. <laughs> uh, and these are great on uh, card making, aren't they? That side. Yeah, that side. Like or those. coasters. Some people oh, like yeah. them for coasters. Yeah. So we've got sweater weather as an autumn napkin. We've got some winter napkins. Uh, a oh. little bit of Christmas. Some, some more autumn. This one's actually a Christmas napkin as well. And then we've got some pretty roses. It's like my middle name. Yeah. Another kind of wintry napkin. Santa. Gnomes. Uh, puppy. Aww. This is kind of a vintage style napkin. A beautiful winter bird. Is that a pigeon? He's a ptarmigan. Oh. Uh, we've got some snowy Christmas tree, beautiful birdhouse with some chickadees and some more, I think they're roses. Adorable animals. So you get the idea. Yeah. Anyway, there's Lots quite, of. quite a few in there. So there's probably 15 or 20 pairs of napkins in there. This one comes with two bottles of Stamperia Allegro paint, which is an acrylic paint. Uh, this one's got like a red and a cappuccino color. There's a really nice Finibear mold in here, silicone mold. Uh, this one's pocket watches. That's from Prima. We've got some ephemera from Stamperia's Precious Collection. These are uh, adhesive ephemera. A beautiful sunflower stencil. I need that. <laughs> Some uh, Stamperia fabric from the coffee collection. That's polyester fabric. We've got some Ninny's rice papers. Quite a few of those. Ooh, I like that one. Some Stamperia rice papers. Oh. Uh, Decoupage Queen rice papers. Mm -hmm. More Stamperia that, oh, I love this one. More Stamperia rice papers. Quite a lot of rice paper yeah. in this box. And that's not always the case. As we said, they're always different. Some rub-ons, Stamperia rub-ons. Oh, two different sets of the Stamperia rub-ons. Yeah. There is an eight inch scrapbook paper pad from Stamperia. A 12 inch uh, scrapbook paper pad from Stamperia. That's from Precious Collection as well. And a couple of just 12 inch uh, sheets from one of the ITD collection. scrapbook collections. Yeah. yeah, so I mean quite a lot of value in there, as you can see. Okay, so let's talk prompt challenge. Uh, so we actually only had three submissions. Um, that's probably my fault. I don't think we had enough time to really properly promote this contest. Um, especially with the poem contest going on, but that's okay. We've uh, learned some things and it was a bit of a trial anyway. Um, so I'm going to share those with you now. So I say we had three submissions. Um, Karen Birchill, Creative Katie, submitted a couple of things, not for the contest, but uh, she just wanted to play along with the challenge. Obviously, as part of our design team, uh, she doesn't... Uh, qualify to win uh, but last week we showed you the art journal page that she did um, using the tropical prompt uh, she also did a set of coasters using tropical prompt so I'll put those up here now we also had a submission on our customers of Nanny's napkins Facebook page from Kathy who made this cool wood panel using some rice paper and other things from the new Stamperia uh, Sea Land collection. So this goes with the explore theme. And then uh, we had some beautiful cards made for us by Sandra. Uh, she chose to use both prompts uh, for the challenge. So she made cards uh, with a nice tropical floral napkin 
and use the sentiment, uh, don't stop exploring. So very good job. Uh, and then we had an email submission. I did say that you could send them in by email if you weren't on Facebook. We had an email submission from Diane and uh, she made coasters uh, as well using the explore prompt using a tear resistant tissue from Nanny's napkins. Uh, so, because we had three submissions and I think they're all equally good, uh, I've decided that all three people are going to receive a mini mystery box. So congrats guys, congrats Sandra, Kathy and Diane. Thank you so much for playing along. Uh, and as I mentioned, we're going to have a big challenge in May. I think we're going to announce it maybe next week on the Ninny's News. So stay tuned for that. Uh, that one you'll have all of May to do the challenge. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks again for watching. And don't forget to uh, subscribe to our channel and leave a comment. Click the like button. It's all very much appreciated. So see you soon.